Welcome to BNN Thursday, the official Thursday Bishop News. Good morning, Canes. Welcome to the news. This is Gabe. And I'm Lexi. Today is October 19th, day one. A crash happened on I-75 when firefighters arrived. They found a van in the bushes and seven people that were ejected from the vehicle. One adult was killed in the crash. Six pediatric patients were flown to Tampa General Hospital. The crash shut down I-75 in both directions because they had to land the medical helicopters. Donating orange fire resistant suits inmates are in front of the lines of the wildfires with chainsaws and hand tools, clearing bushes or setting back fires to stop the flames from spreading. Inmates with minimum custody status, meaning those with lowest security risk, can volunteer for the program, according to SESA. Inmates are screened and must be physically fit for rigorous activity, discipline, and willing to work on a team and take responsibility. At least 230 people were killed in a double car bomb blast in the Somali capital of Mogadishu in Africa. The first explosion destroyed the popular Safari Hotel located in the heart of the city. Security forces had been tipped off about the vehicle carrying the explosives and were pursuing it in the busy KS K5 district of the city when the explosion happened. Minutes after the first blast, a second vehicle bomb went off in the nearby Medina district. How is the weather like next week, Mason? Good morning, it's Mason with a weather forecast. Current temperature of Leon Lake region will expect to drop a little bit, around 80 to 60 Fahrenheit. The humidity will also drop, around 30 to 50 percent. So, compared to last week, we have less rain and more sunlight. Autumn is coming. Back to you, Lexi. Thanks, Mason. And here's Kenny with sports. Thanks, Lexi. This week, there will be a middle school volleyball game on Tuesday from 3 to 6. Also, our football team will be playing Foundation Academy at 7 on Friday. Always remember to go and support all our Bishop teams. That's it. Back to you, Gabe. Thanks, Kenny. It will be a day 1 p.m. activity schedule for Junior Ring Ceremony next Tuesday afternoon, 2 p.m. in Ed Pack. And that's the Bishop Thursday news for this week. Have a great day, Kenny.